Hi, this is problem 7 from the 2017 AIM-1. For non-negative integers a and b with a plus b less than or equal to 6, let's define tab to equal this product and let s denote the sum of all tab where a and b are non-negative integers whose sum is less than or equal to 6. Find the remainder when s is divided by 1,000. Oh boy, this looks a bit complicated. So I'm looking at these terms that appear in this product and what I notice is that all these numbers appear as elements in the sixth row of Pascal's triangle. So let me write that down real quick. That's the second row, the third row, the fourth row, the fifth row, and the sixth row of Pascal's triangle. So all these numbers are taken from the six row, and it looks like we could form the various products for a plus b less than or equal to six, and that would be 28 such products taken from the numbers in the six row. It looks like there's symmetry, so we probably only have to calculate about 14 of those. So if we calculate these 14 products and add them up, that should get us to the answer. But uh, there's probably a more straightforward way to do this, so let's try to examine this product a little more carefully. So what I notice here is that these combinations are taken from groups of six. So let's kind of write that out. So we have six groups, or excuse me, three groups of six. And this first is six choose A. The second is six choose B. And the third I'm going to write in an equivalent form. I'm going to write that as 6 choose 6 minus a plus b. Because that's equivalent because Pascal's triangle is symmetric about the center line. And when I write it this way, I notice something interesting. What we have now is we're choosing a elements from this first group of 6, b elements from this second group of 6, and we're choosing the balance of 6 minus a plus b from this third group of 6. So essentially the number of elements in each of these groups always adds up to 6. And what that means is that when we take the sum of all possible terms where the three groupings add to 6, what that is is basically a roundabout way of computing all the combinations of the 18 elements taken six at a time. So we realize that this sum, TAB, is really just equal to 18 choose six. And it's kind of similar in a way to the way that you can convince yourself that the sum across a row of Pascal's triangle is just a power of two, two to the third, 2 to the 4th, 2 to the 5th, 2 to the 6th. And the way you can convince yourself of that is to do a, a combinations calculation in two ways. You can calculate all possible subsets of, say, 6 elements by doing a combination, or excuse me, a binary argument to get to the 2 to the 6th. And you can also calculate the total number of subsets of 6 elements by computing the total number of subsets of zero elements, the total number of subsets of one element, the total number of subsets of two elements, and so on, and taking that sum. So this operation of doing a calculation of a combination or a calc of a counting uh, problem in two different ways is essentially what we're doing over here. And from that we sort of realize that this sum that we're doing is really just C18 taken six at a time. So we'll have to calculate that. Hopefully that's a little bit easier times 15 times 14 over 2 times 3, 4. Okay, so we can cancel some terms here. Get you to 2. 5 gets you to 3. So we just have to calculate 17 times 6. Multiply that by 14. What's that? 408, 102, 1428. And then finally calculate 1428 times 13, and that's uh, 4284, 1428, 
and that sums to four, six, five, and whatever. And these are the last three digits, so the final answer is five, six, four. Anyway, hope that helps, and we'll see you at the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.